Ah, you've come just in time. I am about to reveal the equation of a line's ultimate form. Drum roll, please. <clears throat> Drum roll, please. <laughs> Ah, there she is in all her glory, slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. Ah, you may be asking, what's so great about slope-intercept form? And to that I say, what isn't great about slope-intercept form? For starters, you're already given your slope, represented by m, and your y-intercept, represented by b. Remember, your slope is your rise over your run, or your change in y over your change in x. Your y-intercept is the point where your line crosses the y-axis. When your line is in y equals mx plus b form, you can start by plotting your y-intercept on the y-axis, then using your slope, your rise over run, to calculate and find your next point. From there, you just connect the dots and you've got a line. Alright, here we want to identify the slope and the y-intercept, then graph the line. We've got the equation y equals 2 thirds x plus 1, or in luck, this is already in y equals mx plus b form. Our m is going to be equal to 2 thirds, and our b, our y-intercept, is going to be equal to 1. Alright, step 1 check. We've identified our m, our slope is 2 thirds, and our y-intercept is 1. Now let's graph. First, we want to start by plotting our y-intercept, or our b, on the y-axis. Since our b, our y-intercept is 1, we're going to start by plotting a point right here. Next, we know our slope is 2 thirds. We want to go straight from this point and use our rise over run. Our rise is 2, our run is 3. So we'll go up 1, 2, and then we'll go over our change in x. Our run is 1, 2, 3. And we get a second point right here. And there we have two dots. All we need to do now is draw our line straight through and we're done. And there we are. That's a beautiful line if I ever did see one. All right, a couple free words of wisdom. Make sure when you're using your slope, you go from the y-intercept. You don't start at the origin or zero, zero, a common mistake. For example, if we did rise over run two over three from the origin, we'd go up from here, one, two, one, two, three, and our line would be the incorrect line. That's a big no-no. Make sure you calculate your slope from your y-intercept, not the point zero, zero. All right, I know you're going to be mad at me if we don't do a couple more examples. So here we go. y equals negative one-third x plus five. First, our m, our slope, is negative one-third. And our y-intercept, our b, is five. Oh, text message. One second. Okay. So we want to start here by plotting our y-intercept, our b, at the point zero, five. And then we can use our slope, negative 1 over 3, to do rise over run and find our other point. Negative 1, 1, 2, 3. Now we've got our two points, let's make our line. And there we are. Let's move on over to this red one, y equals 2x minus 3. Our m is going to be 2. And our b, our y-intercept, is going to be negative 3. Make sure you include the negative if it's a minus in your slope-intercept form. There we go. So we'll start with our y-intercept. b equals negative 3. Let's move on down here. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. And then we've got a slope or an m value of 2. Remember, we want to rise over run. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to 2 over 1, which means I'm going to rise. My y value is going to change by 2, 1, 2. And then I'm going to move in the x direction, 1. Now let's draw our line. And there we have it. 